Sensi. Vuku Senzele. We rise and make things happen. Vendor on street corner to corner office in skyscraper. Chopping and cooking a chakalaga of ideas. Two plate stove to turntable. Dished up and served with flair. Making your own place at your own pace. From ramp to braille, rising and feeling the rhythm of the race. Province to province, the dust never settles. Innovating, building, in taxis and trains, moving people and their goods. Grow business like Morabaraba. The chess of every move. A choreography of feet. The tap tap of creativity and new knowledge. Mapping visions on screens and under rural trees. This is Mzansi. We don't wait for the future. We make it. Dumelang, Sanbonani, Abusheni, hello and welcome to Google for South Africa. My name is Alistair Mukwena. I'm the country director for Google South Africa. Thank you for joining us and a special welcome to our honorable ministers, our esteemed guests and our partners. One of the things I'm really passionate about is small businesses and how they play a significant role in growing economies and creating jobs. Growing up in a family business, I was exposed to the power of small business to create jobs and put food on the table. Small businesses are a microcosm of large enterprises and with the right support, they have the potential to scale. But they've also been hardest hit by the challenges of the pandemic. In my role at Google, I get to witness firsthand how digital transformation can help businesses and economies recover. Whether you're a large enterprise, a small business owner, a creator, a student, or a startup, Google wants to be helpful in digitally transforming your business to unlock numerous growth opportunities. On 6 October 2021, our CEO for Google and Alphabet, Sunda Pichai, announced a plan to invest a billion dollars to support digital transformation on the continent over five years across these areas. Improved connectivity, support for African startups and small, medium and micro enterprises or SMMEs, and renewed funding for nonprofits. So what does this mean for us in South Africa? Google is committed to partnering with the government and other stakeholders to help drive South Africa's digital transformation and economic recovery. A World Bank report shows that nearly 1.5 million South Africans lost their jobs by December 2020. And while we've regained some of these, we know that there are many out there who still need support. Small businesses contribute an estimated 52% of South Africa's GDP, according to the National Empowerment Fund, and employ millions of South Africans. Our goal is to help SMMEs recover as they are the drivers of our economy and to help South Africans grow and thrive. We're here for the long term and our investments and programs demonstrate this. These investments are focused on three key areas, education, nonprofits, and small businesses. Let's start with education. Education is something very close to my heart because it has the power to unlock infinite possibilities. This is why we've supported 340,000 students to learn and 12,000 educators to teach remotely. Prince of School for the Visually Impaired in South Africa is one such example. G Suite for Education's accessibility features such as visual aids, text magnification, voice typing, and braille support have helped both learners and teachers overcome barriers to learning, be it in the classroom or at home. We can only succeed with the help of great partners. And that's why we are working with the UNDP on Project SIFT to help South African teachers, administrators, and students tap into the world of online learning, beginning with 20 schools, 850 teachers, and creating impact for more than 25,000 students. Now let's talk about nonprofits. As we continue to invest in our children through education, we are also committed to investing in our communities. Since 2017, We've supported 22 South African nonprofit organizations through a $7.8 million grant in Google.org. Many of these organizations are working to support underserved black youths, SMMEs, women, and underserved communities by equipping them with the skills and knowledge to improve their livelihoods. 
I'd like to share a few of their stories with you. For the youth, gaining access to work experience is critical. To advance this, the Youth Employment Service has received $825,000 over three grants to help them to develop tools and services to support unemployed youth in South Africa. $500,000 of this funding has enabled 165 black South African youths to participate in a year-long work placement program, better positioning them to help build our economy. As I mentioned at the beginning, we are deeply passionate about small businesses as they are the lifeblood of our economy. Since the start of the pandemic, South African businesses have experienced an 84% decline in turnover, forcing many businesses to close. Technology has helped many of them continue operating and it continues to do so. To date, we've assisted over 6 million SMMEs across Africa to digitize through Google business profiles. Our Market Finder tool is helping them to find global business opportunities by linking them to international markets. And we've assisted them to promote themselves better with the free Google Marketing Kit. One of these is Tepo Jeans, which use Market Finder to not only confirm its hunches that the UK and the US are good export markets for its range of denim jeans, but was also able to identify the Netherlands as another potential market and tailor its search ad campaigns to reach buyers in all three markets. Thanks to Market Finder, they've been able to go global to markets where there's a demand for their fashions. Our tools have also been helpful to Jotham's guest house in Durban. After struggling to get a guest house notice, the owner, Thamendri, decided to sign up for Google's Digital Skills for Africa training. The training sessions exposed her to free tools like Google Business Profiles, showcasing her business to eager accommodation seekers from South Africa, neighboring Botswana, and even as far as the UK. Jotham's guest house new online presence has led to an increase in turnover of 40% and made it possible for Thamendri to hire two new employees. Seeing technology unlock this kind of growth for SMMEs is what inspires us to get up every morning to do what we do. To further our commitment to small businesses, we are announcing a new initiative with the support of the Department of Small Business Development. It is my privilege to welcome the Honorable Minister of Small Business Development, Minister Stella Ndabeni Abrahams, to tell you more. Thank you, Alistair. Good morning, and thank you for having me today. As we celebrate Google's commitment to the digital transformation and economic recovery of South Africa, and the initiatives they have announced in October 2021 at Google for Africa, where I was a guest. Digital markets and digital transformation are important enablers for the Department of Small Business Development's vision to ensure a transformed and inclusive economy driven by sustainable, innovative, small, medium, and micro enterprises, or SMMEs and cooperatives. The initiatives being discussed here today at Google for South Africa are strongly aligned to this vision. The pandemic continues to have an ongoing impact on our economy and particularly our SMMEs. We are encouraged that private sector companies like Google and others continue to support them. We would like to commend Google on the economic recovery initiatives it is investing in, particularly its support for job seekers and its investments in SMMEs and education through its SMME digitization efforts, Digital Skills for Africa, Grow with Google, Google for Startups, Accelerator Africa, and other many programs. We welcome the news that Google will be launching another initiative aimed at supporting SMMEs, and that is called the Hustle Academy. In that vein, I'm delighted to share details of this initiative supported by the Department of Small Business Development. The Hustler Academy is a free week long boot camp geared at helping small businesses grow by increasing revenue, positioning themselves for investment, and building sustainable business models for the future. It launches on the 21st February and seeks to train 1,500 entrepreneurs in South Africa. This free initiative offers live training sessions, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, and masterclasses by industry leaders. Business owners will also gain direct access to a wealth of networking opportunities. If you are looking to take your business to the next level, sign up today at g.co slash 
Hasler Academy. I thank you for having me here today and would like to encourage you all to do the right thing, vaccinate, and help us to accelerate our return to normal life. Now, it's my time to hand over to Asha to tell us more about Google's initiatives. Thank you, Minister Indabene Abrams, for all the work that you and the department do to support small businesses every day. And thank you for joining us. Dumilang, I'm Asha Patel, and I head up B2B marketing for Google across Sub-Saharan Africa and country marketing in South Africa. At Google, we're committed to being helpful to our communities so that they can thrive. Today, I'd like to share some of our work across three key areas the empowerment of women and girls, supporting nonprofits, and scaling access to arts and culture. Our work to support the empowerment of women is something that's very close to my heart. My sister Pranita and I grew up in a small family business that was run by my dad and mom and passed down for generations. I remember spending all our weekends and school holidays at their shop, Ramji Shoe Store in Clarksdorp. That little shoe store put us through school and university, and as young girls, opened doors for both of us. It taught us invaluable entrepreneurial skills that to this day serve us well in our careers. Women and girls are often disproportionately affected by socioeconomic challenges. Investing in their entrepreneurial skills can empower them to reach their full potential. This is the spirit behind the Google.org Impact Challenge for women and girls. Through this challenge, Google.org, our philanthropic arm, has provided $25 million to help organizations creating pathways to prosperity for this underserved group. Following an open call for applications, 34 organizations from across the world received funding, as well as opportunities for mentorship and additional support from Google. Two of these organizations come from South Africa. I'd like to share a video introducing you to the Q Network and the Dream Factory Foundation. We want to empower youth and women all over Africa through education and also connecting them to meaningful opportunities so they can live purpose-driven lives and achieve their dreams. I am now more confident about my business and it has taught me never to give up. Our mission is to empower African queer entrepreneurs through access and resources in the sense that we assist entrepreneurs with funding, we assist them with mentoring and coaching. To run a business, you don't need passion only. You need to be educated, you need to know your money, you need to have people's skills as well, you know. Being able to get access to those things it's almost life-changing because coming from where I come from, it would be very difficult, if almost impossible, or take me very long to be able to access those sort of resources. You see on the faces of our entrepreneurs, they are not alone. I think that for me is, is everything. I'm so inspired by each of these women. Thank you to the Q Network and the Dream Factory Foundation for the work that you do to support women and girls. Now onto the support of nonprofits. In 2017, Google and Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai announced our first $20 million commitment to those working to improve lives in Africa. Since then, Google.org has provided more than 50 grants across Africa, largely to local nonprofits to help them innovate and accelerate solutions to economically empower our communities. Nonprofits continue to work hard in the face of the pandemic to support the most vulnerable amongst us. Through Google.org, we want to be helpful to them so that they can continue to do this incredible work. $500,000 in Google.org grant funding was made to South African organizations supporting communities with emergency relief to tide them over the food shortages, heightened health needs, and economic instability brought about by the pandemic. It brings me great joy to let you know that Gift of the Givers was awarded a $300,000 grant and Food for Life South Africa received a $200,000 grant. 
I'd like to share a video with you that shows you the incredible work that our grant recipients are doing to contribute to the recovery of South Africa. I'm Vinesh Maharaj from Food Flash South Africa. Google has enabled us to feed over 40,500 people per month in hot meals and distribute 3,000 parcels to needy families across the Gauteng region. Ever since I made Food for Life, my community is well fed. You look at their lips, you can see the person never ate since yesterday or since we gave them yesterday's lunch. The government gives us 1,850. We pay our rent, we buy electricity, medication, our funeral policy. At the end of the day, we are left with 250. And that is something that you cannot survive with. People need to eat. People need to have something in their stomach before they go to bed. When we heard that Google was going to give us a grant, I was extremely emotional. And especially at the time, when there was so much difficulty in the hospitals, when healthcare workers were battling emotionally and mentally. The funding has been used to upgrade hospitals in Eastern Cape, provide food for 40 hospitals where patients were hungry, to support feeding schemes and food parcels. And also in KZN, we have a program called Jumpstart, where we're supporting youngsters to get into business, to try to make people independent. These upgrades and these consumables have had a significant impact on our patient experience and outcome of care, on our staff morale, as well as on our ability to fight and manage the COVID-19 resurgences. One of the areas that I think they have touched on in our hearts is to caring for the carer. So we benefited from them, which motivated our staff to give more. I'm so moved by the dedication of Gift of the Givers and Food for Life South Africa. We appreciate your unwavering efforts. Google Workspace has also been helpful to nonprofits needing to collaborate and work effectively. It has been used at no cost by more than 200,000 nonprofit employees and volunteers in South Africa. And at our Google for Africa event in October last year, Google.org made a new $40 million commitment to support nonprofits working to improve lives across Africa, providing $20 million in cash grants and additionally committing $20 million of in kind donations. Thank you to these nonprofits, the private and the public sectors that support them, and to all the volunteers that dedicate their time and resources. This is the spirit of our nation a nation that comes together to rise up. Now, something that helps us all dream big and stay inspired is the arts. It tells us stories of where we've come from and where we're going to. And it's technology that can be helpful in allowing everyone everywhere to experience the rich tapestry of our arts and culture. The video we're going to share next is one such example. Google Arts and Culture, in partnership with South African Tourism, collaborated on a project called South Africa, an Explorer's Paradise. I was given more than 10 names on the day of my birth, and I have earned many since. Maleta, Mamda Gwende, Kwangeshe, Vilimbe. These are the names of my forefathers who made everyday history. They are knitted into my breath. It is how I introduce myself. Clan names are how we carry the past to meet ourselves. South Africa is the place of many names. We peek through the majestic God's window to read stories preserved for us in rocks and sand dunes. We grind secrets and healing out of the plants which are native to this place. Caves are breathtaking gallery walls exhibiting our history. In bodies of water, from the mouth of the Limpopo River into the Indian Ocean are traces of how the country maps itself. We ask grand mountains to tell us how they call themselves. And the Drakensberg is not just Drakensberg, it is Ukhalaba, the barrier of spears. 
Table Mountain is Hurikwaho, the beautiful mountain in the sea, a monument to the first people of this place. I wonder if animals have their own clan names, Mitupo, and whether elephants, for all their memory, remember the stories their own ancestors witnessed. In Africa, Burwa, we trace blood that flows back for centuries through shared names. It is how we make family. We are not done creating history. In the scraps that remain, we quilt ourselves into exquisite print. In the Khadakhta, in Likis, poems and songs that we write, the fashion that reimagines village tradition, the township lives framed in high resolution, skyscrapers like vibrant graffiti against a wall every day. We write new names. And many of us know this place by one name, home. But we are always ready to make new family, to add new names in the fabric of our story, like yours. How incredibly fortunate are we to live in a country filled with so much beauty and wonder. Through this partnership with South African Tourism, a global audience can explore our country virtually. Expertly curated digital stories give insights into South Africa's beautiful vistas and 360 degree immersive tours allow viewers to explore national parks, heritage sites and breathtaking landscapes. Google Arts and Culture's partnership with the Origin Center is another exciting initiative which resulted in the Cradle of Creativity project. It showcases how the beginnings of imaginative expression originated in Africa over 80,000 years ago. Using street view, high resolution images and stories with audio narrations, people all over the world can view ancient rock art, stories of the sand people and the origins of technology. Now, another way that we South Africans are sharing our creativity, innovation and ingenuity with the world is through the work of startups. It's my pleasure to now hand over to my colleague, Abongile, to talk about the work that we are doing with startups in South Africa. Thank you, Asha, Molweni, Ikamalangu Abongile, Michelle and I lead government affairs and public policy for Google in South Africa. It's wonderful to see South Africa's spectacular beauty and culture and share it with the rest of the world. Since I joined Google late last year, in the middle of the pandemic, I have seen firsthand how digital transformation can help our communities grow and thrive. Startups are the lifeline of our economy and play a significant role in the socioeconomic development of the country. They employ millions of people in a wide variety of sectors. At Google, startups have always been part of our DNA. After all, that's how we started. We began as a startup in a garage 23 years ago, and we understand the challenges entrepreneurs have to go through. One example of how we work with businesses in Africa is the Google for Startups Accelerator, a three-month accelerator program for seed to series A technology startups across the continent. It is designed to bring the best of Google's programs, products, people, and technology to startups. Since launching Google for Startups Accelerator Africa in 2017, 82 startups from 17 African countries have participated in the program. They have gone on to jointly raise over $117 million in funding and create over 2,800 jobs. This includes 12 South African startups working across nine vertical sectors. Startups like Voice AI, which helps financial services companies be compliant and improve their customer service by monitoring 100% of their customer interactions. And Whoosh, which offers digital payment solutions for merchants and businesses looking to expand their businesses online 
via a website or mobile app. Collectively, the South African participants have raised over $3.5 million to date. Applications for the seventh cohort of the Google for Startups Accelerator program closed on 14 January and participants will be announced next month on the 7th of March. The program will run for three months with a one week virtual bootcamp per month running from March through to May. Starting and maintaining a business isn't easy. Black founders face unique challenges which require additional support. That's why we launched the Black Founders Fund in Africa in June last year. The Black Founders Fund is a $3 million fund which forms part of our commitments to support underserved global communities and foster diversity, equality, and inclusion. The six-month program for Black-led growth stage technology startups across Africa offers mentoring, training, early access to new Google products and tools, strategic business support, product support, and more. At Google for Africa, we announced the 50 startups that will receive $100,000 or $50,000 in cash funding, along with up to $120,000 in ad grants and $100,000 in cloud credits. One of them is Akiba Digital, which helps small, medium, and micro enterprises or SMMEs improve their financial health using personalized, actionable insights. And Kula, which is an ecosystem of three digital platforms that exists to make the agricultural value chain more efficient and fair by providing fair access to markets and financing opportunities. Since the announcement, these startups have received the cash funding and cloud credits and they are undergoing mentorship and training on Google technologies. Google.org also awarded a $3 million grant to the Tony Elumelu Foundation to support 5,000 women entrepreneurs across Africa with entrepreneurial skills training. The recipients were announced in November last year and 500 women received cash grants to the value of 5,000 US dollars. 84 of these women are from South Africa. Technology continues to bridge the gap for communities and businesses across the world as they seek to recover economically. Digital transformation is a critical part of helping our SMMEs do so. Google's Rise Up Economic Recovery Campaign in 2020 served to help small businesses who were rebuilding and recovering from the impact of the pandemic locally and across the continent. As part of the campaign, we announced grant funding of $500,000 to the Precult Foundation and Arifu. These organizations provide information to SMMEs in South Africa via SMME Start, a WhatsApp chatbot to help them survive and thrive in the uncertainty. To date, over 5,200 SMMEs have registered with the service with some 776,000 messages having been sent to over 22,000 active users. If you would like to sign up, message the word hi to 0600-110-110. We are excited about the work the startups are doing and we cannot wait to see how they will progress this year. And now I'd like to hand over to Alistair who will wrap up today's event. Thank you, Abongile. I'm also looking forward to seeing what wonderful things the startups and grant recipients do this year. Last year at Google for Africa, our CEO for Google and Alphabet, Sunda Pichai, announced a plan to invest a billion dollars over five years to support Africa's digital transformation, including a range of initiatives from improved connectivity to investment in startups, all to help boost Africa's digital transformation. A critical aspect of fulfilling our mission is collaborating with partners to ensure that access to the internet is affordable in the continent. We're also building global infrastructure to help bring faster internet to more people and to lower connectivity costs. 
The Equiano subsea cable will run through Togo, Nigeria, Namibia, South Africa, and St. Helena to connect Africa with Europe. The cable is set to land in Namibia in May and in South Africa in June this year. According to research from Africa Practice, Equiano will increase real economic growth in South Africa by 0.32 percentage points and indirectly create 180,000 jobs. Retail internet prices are set to drop by 25%. Internet penetration will increase by seven percentage points and internet speeds are expected to almost triple in South Africa by 2025. That means more jobs and better learning and entrepreneurship opportunities for many Africans. Our partners are so critical to helping us see this through as we cannot do this work alone. Faster and more affordable internet access will help empower startups. And we believe that investing in sub-Saharan African startups across key industries, including FinTech, shared economy and e-commerce will drive significant future growth for the African internet economy. This is why we launched the Africa Investment Fund in October 2021 at Google for Africa. We will invest $50 million into startups through this fund. We announced our first investment in Safe Border in December 2021. And last month, our second investment in Carry First, a South African mobile gaming startup. We look forward to announcing more investments into African startups over the course of this year. We will provide them with not only equity investment, but also access to Google's employees, network, and technologies to help them build impactful products for their communities. We are so grateful for all our partners who work ceaselessly to drive digital transformation and economic recovery, even in the face of challenges brought about by the pandemic. I want to thank them for their unwavering partnership. We cannot do this work without you. I also want to extend my gratitude to our teams here in South Africa and the rest of Africa who work tirelessly to realize our commitment to the country's economic recovery and digital transformation. Now, if you're a small business owner, we've got two special masterclasses for you to attend after the main event. Take a look at the masterclass tab on the Google for South Africa website for more information. In closing, I'd like to share a parting video with you which reflects our hope for the future in our beautiful land, South Africa. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Be well, stay safe, and until we meet again, salang hantle, tot scenes, and goodbye. The beat in Zanzi streets, boardrooms, laboratories, marketplaces, backyards, face to face and on screen. Crafting the future. Sisonke. Zanzi does it together. Dreams and plants seeds. Builds tools to grow and reap. Make new recipes. Test tubes to pots. Galleries to factories. A virtual harvest. Feast of imagination. Connect neighborhoods across borders. The graffiti of dreams. Bring the world to you in AI. Cast the die and be anywhere from where you are. Start things up in 11 tongues. Build Mzansi's solutions today to answer tomorrow's questions. Giving voice to digital change, Mzansi makes things happen. Let's make them together.